Well, I can tell you where I am right now is that I'm on the side of Highway 63 and we're going to just show you what people are going to see when they're driving into the city tomorrow. And right when you come in, uh, even before you get to the city proper, you're going to see these billboards on the side of the road. They've obviously been installed over the last week or so. There's a series of them, maybe seven or eight, and they're welcoming people back to Fort McMurray. You can see this one saying, welcome back. There's one saying, thank you for staying safe. Another one saying, let's rebuild together. And I can tell you, because we drove through the city uh, for the last, you know, hour or so, and there is a lot of traffic uh, in this area. You can see there's a lot of workers coming back. I mean, at first, after the, the fire, there were just utility workers, but now you're seeing a lot of people that are back opening up shops, like the Walmart, like the drugstore, basically getting things in place so things are ready when people return. I should also mention, though, officials have been very clear to tell people that uh, you know, not all the services are going to be open. So while there will be some stores, I believe there's a gas station, a couple of convenience stores, people are being urged to take, you know, two weeks of supplies with them. And just so people understand, the city's, you know, not open right now. So I can't just go down this road. You can see the police have it blocked off. Uh, so going down the, the neighborhoods, I mean, that's a no-go area for us. But what we can do is because the highway is open, we can essentially drive through, you know, through the thoroughfare, through the city, uh, and if we wanted to, up to some of the oil sand sites north of here. Now, in terms of the areas that are damaged, uh, fencing has been installed all around them. Uh, coming up on our left-hand side, I'm not sure if you'd be able to see it here, but this is the, the trailer park, and this is where uh, the fire really tore through. This is one of the first areas the fire hit. And you may be able to see that there's fencing. It's been installed all along any of the damaged areas. And not just fencing, but the, these areas where there's so much ash and debris, they've basically sprayed them with a protective substance. And that, it's, it's almost like a safety blanket. That's what officials say. It basically prevents the ash and debris from blowing in the wind and contaminating other parts of the city. And it's because of that toxic ash and soil that people who live in neighborhoods like Avisand, Waterways, Beacon Hill, they're not going to be allowed to come back uh, at all, really, until it's deemed safe for them to do so. And it's a particular shock to many people who had their homes standing in these neighborhoods. They thought they could go back, and they just learned yesterday, of course, that the, their homes have been deemed uninhabitable for the time being.